so the character looks like he's trying to stay balanced up on top of the log. Inland-based Garner Holt Productions is working with Knott's Berry Farm to bring new life to the park's legendary log ride. The ride is getting its first major renovation since it was opened in 1969. Um, you guys remember in the old days of this attraction, we went through and the feeling was uh, sort of diorama-esque. You went through and not a whole lot was moving and you weren't being addressed. It looked really cool and it had a really neat style to it. Um, but there wasn't a whole lot of humor to it. It was very straightforward type of thing. So in this, we're adding a lot of character. Uh, this is a scene here where we have a little camp uh, set that has been taken over by animals where this hapless logger is looking out of his tent where you can see some of the animals here. Uh, one of the nifty things in this attraction too is that, unlike in the original version, all of our animals move with the exception of this one right here, and none of them were formerly alive. So, a, a major distinction. Um, looking at some of the uh, things that we're working on now at the shop, in this attraction, we originally had 17 human figures, and uh, just a few of them moved. Now we have 40 human figures, and all of them moved. Uh, so, it's a major upgrade in that department. We have uh, about a dozen animals as well. Um, our creative process is a little bit different than the one that was originally taken with this attraction, which involved a lot of plaster and chicken wire. Uh, we're now using modern materials like silicone and fiberglass things and uh, stainless steel and aluminum frame systems. You can see some of the masks here that we're creating for this attraction. One of the neat things that we wanted to do was, even though they weren't A-plus sculptures, a lot of the sculptures in this original attraction had a very distinct look to them. They were as distinct and as unique to this attraction as Blaine Gibson's sculptures are for the Pirates of the Caribbean. So we wanted to capture that. And the way we did it was we took molds of some of the best heads from this attraction. We made parts from those molds. We put clay on top of them, and then we sculpted it in detail as though they were real people who just happened to have some quirky features. As a result of that, all of the masks that you'll see throughout this attraction, even ones that are based on these original ones, have a cohesive look. So everybody is from the same world, uh, and they all have a physiological perfection. Uh, we're really blessing it in every sense of the word with all new technologies, and that was one thing that uh, Earl that really wanted to do. He said that he wished he could get back into the attraction and add new technologies as they emerge. And of course, in 1969, the only name in town with the animatronics technologies had a lot more money than they have here. Uh, they had here to build this attraction, so now we're adding in the technologies that weren't as available then uh, that are really going to make this attraction come to life. So we're excited to be part of it, and uh, we think a blessing that we were asked to do our best for this attraction. So. For PE.com, this is Fielding Buck.